I had no idea that I would be involved in esports at this age, at this point in my life. Um, it was just something that I've always loved. I've always loved gaming, I've always loved esports. Um, and to be involved in this and AV at the same time, it's, it's unreal. I'm so lucky. We've got so much to do at esports. Everyone can have a home in esports. There are plenty of opportunities if you look for them. I sort of progressed from our IT uh, department into AV at Durham University. So at Durham, we have an initiative that allows students to um, participate in esports in our National Student Esports League. We also have the opportunity for them to gain industry experience uh, by attending large scale events, speaking with industry specialists, and also networking with said industry as well. And we think this will give them a really valuable insight into the esports industry as opposed to just sitting and learning about it, um, whilst also gaining you know, a worldwide, very top class degree. We also give them somewhere to play. Uh, we're building an eSports space for them at Durham, which is fantastic news. It's very cross-discipline, very cross-discipline, yeah. The companies that sort of develop and make eSports games and titles and manage them obviously have a need for the, the background staff, those, those folks that do all the hard work, essentially. So you still got your admin teams, your HR teams, your IT teams, everything that a normal, normal business uses eSports will use as well. It's nice to see it being mentioned in things like this. Um, our VC speaks of it quite publicly in a positive way, which is fantastic. I never thought I'd hear that. Um, and yeah, it's nice to tell my parents that I, I work in eSports now. And they were like, you never work again. No, I'm like, ah, ha, ha.